Hi, welcome to Local Flavor. I'm Deborah Anderson and we're here at Ant Face Community Kitchen in Moreland. And today I'm going to make one of my favorite treats, which is homemade peppermint patties. Just like the York peppermint patties, only kind of we're making them smaller. It was my favorite thing to do at the... After eating Mexican food, I always love to get one little peppermint patty afterwards. And then one day, we went to eat and they had replaced the peppermint patties with like Mr. Good bars, those miniature candy bars. And I went, this can never do. We got to do it ourselves. So we are going to make the filling and then we're going to dip them in chocolate. It's not very hard. The hardest part is waiting for things to freeze. So I'm going to put about two and a half cups of powdered sugar in my KitchenAid mixing bowl. I thought it would be easier to bring a bag, but I really miss having my scoop in the canister. And let me know, did I say two and a half or two and a quarter? It's about two and a quarter, but you'll have to, it always depends on the humidity and things if you need to add much more. But here's my quarter cup. I think you'll fit in there. Now, this is not part of the recipe, but it's something that I added, the, the original recipe I went with. I added um, a little bit of salt, a pinch of salt, just because I think it brings out the chocolate flavor later so much better. And I need about one and a half tablespoons of light corn syrup. it is. And one and a half tablespoons of water too. So hopefully some of the water will rinse that out. That's quite a bit of corn syrup I missed. Okay. And next we're going to put in some peppermint extract. And we put in about a half a teaspoon, but if I pour over, I, it doesn't bother me. I don't think you can, yes, you can make it too pepperminty, but not for me. Hmm, I forgot this was a brand new one. So a half a teaspoon. And it did get out more because these bottles are not made for pouring. I don't know what the idea is. And then I'm going to put a little bit of coconut oil in, about a tablespoon. Or if you don't have coconut oil, you could use shortening. I'm just, coconut oil seems to be the popular thing these days. So that's why I switched it up. I got the refined kind because then it doesn't taste like coconut. Usually you don't want things that are refined or processed, but I find with coconut oil, it's probably the way to go. It's also a little bit safer if you're worried about germs. But it's supposed to cure your hair, your skin. Coconut oil is it's the fad right now. Let me make sure I didn't forget anything. Corn syrup, salt, water, peppermint oil, coconut oil. That's all for now. The rest is just chocolate and we'll dip it in the, at the end. So I'm going to let this mix until it's a ball of dough and I'll clear out some space. We're going to then um, knead it on this surface with a little bit of powdered sugar to keep it from sticking. And yes, it is a lot of work for one little candy. Thank you for noticing, <laughs> but there's, you get a bunch of them. I'm just gonna put about a quarter cup. I'll have more here in case I need it. And I'll probably take off my ring to knead.
I'm just going to scrape it one time. Oops, it's fine. I just wiped it. Okay, I'm ready to knead it. I like how it's nice and bright white. I did always wonder what was inside those York peppermint patties. No butter. Um, I have seen some recipes that use butter instead of like coconut oil or shortening. But I wanted the white color. Maybe that's why I like to put the salt in it. It makes it a little more like butter. Okay, so look at this teeny tiny little bit. I'm just going to get it all covered in powdered sugar and knead it for a little bit. Until it's nice and smooth. There's a little dance to do with these, and I hope we get the dance right today. Wow, that's too much. <laughs> In that, you don't want to get it too dry, but you don't want it, if, if you don't get it a little bit drier, it just stretches and it's really hard to work with. So, there's a little bit of a balancing act. And we all know kneading is difficult for me to understand when to stop. So I'm just going to keep going until it's kind of smooth. And then what I'm going to do is put it in between a couple of sheets of parchment paper and roll it out to about a quarter of an inch thick. Now, I did do a variation on these. We're going to cut out little discs. You can make balls. And then when I get to the end and get tired of re-rolling re it out and making more discs, what I have been doing is making like a bark out of it. And then just chopping it up kind of like peanut brittle. Okay, I don't want to go too far. You want it a little soft because you want it to be moist enough. And we'll freeze it to get it to hold a little bit of shape. But this feels pretty smooth, so I'm going to start rolling it out. And I have my mama's rolling pin. And I brought some trays so it would be easier. They're going to be dirty on the bottom, sorry. I have a couple of sheets of parchment paper. And I brought the trays so it would be easier to carry to the freezer. So, the parchment paper keeps it, keeps it from sticking because it is a mess. If you don't, it'll just be all over your roller. And after I get this rolled out and put it in the freezer, it needs to be in there about at least 15 minutes to make sure it gets nice and hard and easy to work with. It doesn't like that. Let me check this. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. I think I've got it good enough. 
So let's take a short break while we put it in the freezer. We'll come back in about 15 and cut out little rounds. And I'll wipe out the bottom. Your home's exterior is the best defense against harsh weather conditions. With insulated vinyl siding, energy efficient windows, spray foam insulation, and metal roofing from AquaShield Roofing and Construction, you can protect your home from howling winds and ice cold temperatures. Don't let Mother Nature interfere with the comfort of your home. Call or visit us online today for a free estimate. AquaShield Roofing and Construction. Our team is dedicated to your complete satisfaction. Come on down to Bees Bargains at Smith Center, Kansas. We got the deals. We have a wide variety of inventory like soap, toiletries, toys, mini fridges, even kitchen tables. Everything is new at Bees Bargains, but it's all half the price. Yes, half price. That isn't just a good deal, that's a great deal. And with new items daily, our inventory is constantly changing. That means new, great deals are coming in by the truckload weekly. Bees Bargains at Smith Center. If you can't find a deal here, you can't find one anywhere. Make a difficult choice an easy one with Cedar View Assisted Living's knowledgeable and caring staff. Your loved one will be professionally taken care of as they transition into their new community. With movies, holiday parties, planned exercises and games, residents will have opportunities every day to enjoy their time at Cedar View. Multiple room styles are available, ensuring a just right fit for your loved one. Come see Cedar View Assisted Living for yourself next to Sternberg Museum. The care you need, the home you want. Gove County Medical Center provides compassionate care combined with today's latest technology. We offer a wide range of services to meet the growing needs of you and your family, including surgical and swing bed services, cardiac and cancer rehab, as well as our pain clinic, long-term care, OB, and ongoing lactation assistance. Serving all of Northwest Kansas, our team of doctors and staff are committed to healing through caring. Visit govecountymedicalcenter.org and find us on Facebook to learn more. Welcome back to Local Flavor where we're making peppermint patties and I'm ready to melt my chocolate. We've had the inside of it in the freezer for about 15 minutes and so I'm going to get ready to dip and we might need to take longer to melt the chocolate. I think the safest way to do it for me is on a double boiler. That's just how I'm always probably going to do it. Some people like to do it in the microwave but I I think I've overdone it in the microwave and dried it out, so I really think it's safer to do the double boiler. I'm going to put two ounces of Baker's chocolate, and I got the 56% sweet, semi-sweet. It's about half the box. This is a four ounce box. I think they have a larger box too. I'm going to turn down my heat a little bit. And then I'm going to use a bag of chocolate chips. I cheated a little because I got the mini ones. I thought they might melt a little faster for me. I'm not going to put all of them in. I'm going to save some of them for when it's already melted to help temper it down and cool it enough to be able to dip our, our treats into. So we'll give this some time to melt. As soon as it's melted, I'll take it off of the fire. A double boiler is just like two saucepans that fit together. And the reason they are irritating is because of that ring inside where the food always gets crammed in. So if we can manage this without getting too much chocolate inside, it'll be a success. Also, I have some smaller pans that I like to use at home, but they don't nest together, so it's kind of precarious and scary. So I'm gonna get the insides out of the freezer now after as soon as I get this stirred up and while we get this cooled down then I'll cut out my shapes and what I have to cut them out this is just something I happen to have on hand. I went to see Chris Angel's show in Vegas and I got this shot glass at it because I used to collect shot glasses. So it's just sharp enough and about the right size for my mints. Okay, this is melted. So I will take it off of the fire and then we want it to cool a little bit 
So I'm going to add the rest of my chocolate chips in. I actually want my water to stay hot, just not this pan. And we're not ready to dip yet, so kind of relax. I brought a thermometer to check the temp. Ooh, 141. We want it down to like 88. So while our other things are freezing again, we can get our temperature worked out just right. Here is my frozen disc. This is my chocolate dipper. So I'm going to carefully peel this away. I actually like to peel it on both sides. And it doesn't matter how thick they are, it's all personal preference. But I'm going to try and get as many rounds as I can out of it. And then we have to freeze them again. And what I'll do with the dough that is not in a round. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Oh, that looks good. I can either roll it back up and roll it out again to make another bit of it like you used to do with your sugar cookies. Or I can put it together and make some bark. OK. You are a naughty. But they look awesome. Oh, I have a little chocolate on my finger. That's not good. We'll cover it up soon. I probably should have powdered sugar to dip this in. That might help me. So why don't we take a little break, I'll get some powdered sugar, all I'm going to do is cut out the rest of these and put them back in the freezer to make sure they're hard enough to dip in warm chocolate. So I'll meet you back when we're ready to dip. With seven agents in three locations, Hammond Land and Auction Incorporated can meet your every need when it comes to your next sale. Visit them at HammondAuction.com and you'll find all their upcoming sales including farms, ranches, as well as farm equipment and even real estate listings, both residential and commercial. They've been serving Western Kansas since 1983, and with offices in Stockton, Russell, and Hayes, they're always nearby to assist you. Hammett Land and Auction Incorporated. Contact them today. Norton County Hospital would like to welcome Dr. Todd Pankratz, an OBGYN who is now accepting patients. This means women can receive local specialized care for high-risk pregnancies, infertility, medical weight loss, and various surgeries. With Dr. Pankratz and on-staff physicians, the hospital hopes to serve as a premier facility for women's health care, and this care extends to the entire family as more than 60 babies are welcomed here each year. The Norton County Hospital, dedicated to caring, commitment, and community. Safety at a peace of mind price. Next Tech Wireless introduces the Simple Starter Plan. For only $20 per month, you can rest easy knowing you can always reach your child on their smartphone. The plan includes unlimited calling, unlimited texting, and unlimited data while on Wi-Fi. You won't have to worry about data overages, and your child will enjoy all the benefits of a smartphone. It's the Simple Starter Plan from Next Tech Wireless. Unlimited talk, text, and data while on Wi-Fi for only $20 per month. Your house is more than just a house. It's a home for your family to grow. It's a place where you feel the most comfortable and can be yourself. Shop at Paul's Furniture Company in Selden so your family can select the perfect pieces for all the rooms in your house. With over 17,000 square feet of selection, they are sure to have the styles that will please everyone, even the kids. Visit Paul's Furniture Company in Selden where they'll help you feel at home. Visit us online at paulsfurnitureco.com. Welcome back to Local Flavor. Um, we are making peppermint patties and I've got them back out of the freezer because they're frozen ha pretty hard again. That's why we want our um, chocolate to not be too hot because we want it hot enough to drip easily but not hot enough that you just melt the candy underneath it. 
So I've got my water boiling again on the double boiler. And now just to keep hold this at the temperature I want, I'm gonna take it off the heat, but keep it on top of that hot steamy water. So easier with a smaller pan because it stays um, a little deeper. So I'm gonna have to use this spatula quite a bit. And this is the dipper I got. It's from Wilton and it's an enrober, you might call it. I have used like two forks or two spoons and any way you slice it, it's quite a bit of hassle. I wonder if I let this get too cool. Come on, melt back up. Yeah, it's getting soft again. This way I can just scrape it off without touching my candy. It's still a mess, it's just not quite as big a mess. Now I do like it with the stripes. I'm gonna get a fork to help me just in case. So I don't just shake it. Okay, in rover. And I'll just do a few of these because we're going to have to put them back in the freezer. Oops, that one didn't get the bottom. There's no easy way to do chocolate. Um, the two spoons was driving me crazy though because it touches. It touches the candy so it can kind of make it look like it's knocking off the chocolate. Oh man, not as pretty as the York, are they? And I'll just do a few. And then what I did with the um, stuff that wouldn't make any more circles, I watered it back up and rolled it into a square. And I'm gonna make bark out of it, just so I could show you. Now in the winter time, it's not winter right now, but in the winter, when I make the bark, I always do it at the end because it's easy, to, it's a good way to use up the end of the chocolate and just pour it on top. But here's what I did. I rolled it out into just a little square, whatever shape it comes out into. And I put the chocolate on one side and then flipped it over and froze it. And then we'll put the chocolate on the other side. And if you had like some crushed up peppermints or something, it looks really pretty on there as bark. But I wanna do that with the end of the chocolate so that that's a good way to clean up your pan when you haven't got enough left to dip anymore or you're out of them. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll finish dipping these. You can watch me as long as you want. And then when we're done, I'm going to pour the rest of this chocolate on the bark and freeze it one more time before we taste them. Uh, at Christmas time, I wrap them all in foil to give them out. Just like a York, only not as neatly wrapped. So anyway, I'll be dipping for a while. And when we come back, we should be ready to taste or cover up our bark. It is total chocolate mayhem here, but I am going to use what's left over. We finished dipping all of our rounds, and so I'm gonna use all the leftover chocolate to drizzle over this one. I'm gonna start with drizzling, just in case I don't have enough to totally cover it. I actually think I do have enough to totally cover it. I don't think it looks very pretty drizzled. 
a bad idea. You can make it a really thick one because we have quite a bit of chocolate left over. You need so much to dip it. That's why I like to end in the bark. Because then you don't have a chunk. I mean, if we just stopped, then you'd have a giant chunk of chocolate in your saucepan. So spread this around. I'm going to cover it again and put it well, I think if I get this smooth enough, I'm not going to cover it. And I don't have any peppermint patties to sprinkle on it, but if we did, this would be the time to do it. Do we want a texture? Do we want a texture? No, we do not. So I'll put this in the freezer now and it'll be ready to break up when we're finishing up this show. Here in the Heartland, we make things homemade with precision and care. Robin Insurance is no different. Their family creates tailored plans to keep your family safe. They are a family-owned and operated agency that also offers commercial, farm, and crop insurance. With quick, fair claims, your matter will be held professionally and with excellent customer service. Robin Insurance, the corner post of insurance since 1936. See their ad in the next tech directory. The Rusty Tractor in Kensington offers big city dining with a small town feel. The Rusty Tractor features hand cut steaks, burgers, wraps and more, all with generous portions and quality products. The Rusty Tractor is proud to serve the area farming communities and welcomes everyone. Come as you are in your boots and jeans. You'll be right at home. Open daily and conveniently located on Highway 36. For more information, find them on Facebook or for a full menu, visit RustyTractorKensington.com. Welcome back to Local Flavor and our peppermint patty making episode. We um, have got these all frozen up. I'm ready to cut up the one we made into bark. I'm going to use a big knife and it probably will break a little different and you kind of want that. People are always more excited to eat the pieces that don't look perfect. So luckily none of ours look perfect. <laughs> so that's awesome. We should feed a lot of hungry people. Well, these are actually breaking pretty good. I was going to break them with my fingers and then I thought they would just melt all over my hand. So this is what you get. Don't they look awesome, these little ones? I'm going to go ahead and taste these. They're all the same because I didn't uh, need any more powdered sugar into these. I love to eat them cold. Doyle hates cold candy, but I absolutely love candy right out of the fridge. Mmm, I love it. And it really does taste a lot like the candies, either the Pearsons or the York. So, not a lot of ingredients, not that hard, just a little bit of labor. And the dipping of the chocolate is sometimes a nightmare. But, you're just going to eat it anyway. So, give it a try. And we'll see you next time on Local Flavor.